We've completed three major studies that are clinical studies looking at our ability to detect infection in the joint fluid. The first was a pilot study that used microarrays, which is the gene chip, to look at two groups of patients. One group of patients had Staph aureus infections in a joint replacement, and the other group of patients had gout in a joint. And the reason we used gout is because it's basically the closest thing to an infection without actually being an infection. You get a tremendous immune response, you get a lot of white cells, so it really looks like an infection. We took both of these groups, took the white blood cells from their joint fluid, and actually ran the gene chip. And we were shocked to find that there were tremendous global differences in gene expression between the two groups, which told us that there's a fundamental difference in the synovial fluid. When somebody gets infected at the joint, their joint produces a specific and appropriate response to infection, which involves a whole signature of proteins that are generated. When somebody's joint is reacting to a condition that is not an infection, there's a different set of proteins that are generated. So that pilot study really told us that theoretically we were on the right track. The second study we did was to validate the first study. So it's known that gene chips don't always give the most accurate results, and we wanted to make sure that what we were seeing theoretically was accurate. So what we did was we took two more groups of patients. One group had joint replacement infection, and the other group had joint replacement loosening. These are two different groups that are quite well defined. Again, we isolated white blood cells from their joint fluid, and we sent it to the lab. They spun them down and got the uh, RNA from the cells, and we put it on the gene chip. And again, the gene chip showed that a person's response to infection is very different than a person's response to aseptic loosening. The group that had an infected joint replacement had a very specific local gene response, and the group that did not have infection had a completely different response in their joint fluid. So from the first two studies, we were quite sure that there's a theoretical difference in the way the immune system in the joint reacts to infection versus non-infection. In the third study that we accomplished, we wanted to take this technology and make it faster, cheaper, and more usable in a hospital. The gene chip doesn't provide that. So what we did was we focused on immunoassay. We did a study of almost 50 patients where we had a group of patients who had a joint replacement infection and a group of patients that did not have an infection. We collected their synovial fluid and ran a number of biomarker tests based on our initial two studies. We sort of had a feeling we knew which biomarkers would be best. And we were very pleased to find that many of the biomarkers we were looking at had up to almost 100% accuracy in diagnosing infection. Whereas the patients with infected joint replacements had very high levels of these biomarkers, the patients with aseptic loosening uh, had low levels of these biomarkers. So we found this big difference and it was basically diagnostic in the study we looked at.